Well, now Buck's going to be a bit disappointed where I'm setting the bed up. Buck grunt, there's a buck grunt there, dear, dear. Looks like he's been there tonight, too. I'm going to say she's bloody. Another buck grunting up here. Yeah, about past 12. Still warm though, it's still bloody 23 or 24 degrees. So. I've got the full day, I can spend the day here tomorrow. There it comes with it. Well, the sun's finally coming up. Which woke the boys up, they were grunting last night all around me, but not very much, eh? Hey? A few grunts here and there. There's one buck that grunts in there. That you pick him apart from the rest of them, and I reckon he's that one. And I'm chasing, I could hear that grunt the other day, and when I went over there, there was a couple of bucks there, but... I reckon... Just you and going out the back of that thing. Another buck running down here. Need a bit more light. I don't think it's going to get any easier. There's a buck just in here somewhere. Close to me, raking it in on a tree. The rest of them sound like they're a bit higher up than they were yesterday. Or the Saturday. Got in here. I had a big buck, like a good buck. Right here, we well, he started grunting again. He's standing in the trees, he's grunting at about 35 yards. I just got my phone out to video him. Because it's dark and the fucking torch come on. Him. <laughs> and he bolted. He's real dished in. I don't know whether he was the one I got on video the other day or not. I'd rather try and get that big fella I got on camera. Leave a few of these bigger fellas in here to do their thing. There's a couple of mongrel headed things in here that need shooting. So. They're definitely over a bit further than they were most of them. I've got bucks just over here, but I've got a young buck just there. It's just spotted me. These young bucks are making those bigger fellas everywhere. Yes, yeah, the one of them not bumping in here, but he's lost interest. Pretty quick. He shoots fast. Not much you can do about it, what do you do? Oh, did he run a good way? Buck, that's him, that's him making that difference. I 
Most of the bucks are gone, there's a couple down here. Try, try slide in above him here. Be mucking in the video. It's in a good spot. She's in a good spot too. I'm stuffing her in there. Stuffing her in that camera. That buck just walked off. Please stuff it in front of him on camera. Oh, I could have snapped 10 yards there. Easy as shit with a light alley. Had a 30 yard shot at him. But I thought I'd get a bit of shitty footage on my phone. You can tell he's grand like. He sounds totally different to the rest of them, which is a bonus. He worked his way up in here, so I seen him first the other morning. So I'll head up around there, hopefully he'll pipe up again. Just come around the top. Blowing him in. Where this bark was. Come down around here. I reckon I just heard his grunt. I reckon I heard his grunt up in there. You can definitely be real raspy. Sort of not very loud, just muffled mongrel sound. Oh, you can't see him, but I found that bike again. He's just not making any noise. It's gonna take a bit of getting away. I'm not gonna push him, eh? Hey, like, I'll get to that lip, which would make him about 40 yards. I reckon I'll get like onto this lip here. With my finger, you get onto this lip in here. 40 yards through this pine. You get a window that far, you're doing pretty good. Still sitting off this buck. He's just shut right up. They've all shut up. The sun's gonna come over and just rinse his face on. Like I said before, I'm not pushing him, mate. If I can't get on. I can't get on him today. So be it. He's sort of just standing there facing up my way. He doesn't know me. If I could grab him. point if I could grab myself to the tip of this bridge here. Just trying to work it out with a few rains. I reckon he'd be about 35 yards. Which I'll shoot at. Just don't know. Yeah, I'm going to do it. He's actually coming up there a little bit, this buck. I'm gonna go snap some ground. He's squaring up with another buck here, they're gonna fight.
That thing was on money too. He just dropped it wrong. Straight over him. Straight over him. He's backed away from that, that bark, he's down in here. No one will blow this, the little pigs in the Good colours. Yeah, I don't want to go and push him too much, so I don't think he'll go anywhere. Even after that shot, he sort of stood there for ages looking up to see what it was. Um, yeah, a bit of a pain, but anyway, 40 yards. Is a fair crack out of deer. It goes over there in the rocks. Is a fair crack out of deer, but given he was a little bit occupied there, I thought we might have been right. Anyway, at least it missed him. Went straight over him. At least it missed him and didn't he didn't drop a little bit later and I pinned him. Pinned him high or something. So. Just don't know. I'm here for the kind of honey for the rest of the day. But. I don't know whether it's worth going back in on that scrape but they're all hanging out and hoping he turns up or just leaving him be. I think I'll probably just leave him be. Till next weekend. Let's see what happens. Come up all the way. And uh, that buck this morning was chasing his over on that further fridge there. Um, yeah, I've come around high. I haven't heard anything. Everything I'm hearing is down low. So. The buck worked it out. I'll probably drop back down. I won't go where I was this morning. I'll drop down and get one grunt down here. I'll hunt over here. I'm camped sort of up over here. I might spend the arvo either on that mountain at the back there or over the back of that mountain. Uh, two bucks following each other. Shaft shaping up, I'd say. I'd rather have to see this shit. There's three bucks here. Just back in where these bucks are going off this morning. Just want to check a couple of cam. This is where that bigger fall, I reckon this is his scrape. That's where he was this morning, I was just up in there. This sort of had a bit of a look, there's a pretty good following tree here. When he leaves you, I seem to leave that way, so. Next time I come in, give him like, the right, right wind, I might even try and cut him from that way. Just coming from the way I did, I come up through here. And, um, yeah, so a lot of deer to get through to get to him. So, just want to find my camera. Alright, uh, I just brought my camera up. Let's stick it on this crate, this is where that buck was. So. Put her in here, try and get a few bits of him. I've got photos on him. I'll be down there, I only got a couple of photos. Yeah, I only got a couple of photos on the scrape pad down here, but most of them of him, so. I just got a card reader that plugs in my phone for some reason with that camera. I won't show the photos of it anyway. I'll um, let's get a couple of different cards, I can swap the cards out when I come down. Right, I. Well, I didn't do any good out there either, so. I'm gonna go have a bit of a feed and um, yeah, might roll the swag back out for an hour or so. 
on a different area of the Savo. I don't know what my chances are. It's, it's stinking hot in here. 29 degrees. I'm letting that park in the shades. Quarter past 11 in the morning. But say by 3 3.30 I reckon she'll be bloody. Well and truly up there I'd say she'll be mid to high 30s. So. You know, it's a good day to get on the Atlas Wild, that's for sure. Second one. But anyway, I'll go up here, have a look, see what signs up in this area. I blew through there last night when I come in and just threw the light around quickly and had a look. And there's a shitload of females up there, so definitely a buck hanging up there somewhere.